see the enterprise customers who are deploying their applications in containers, this is a new technology for most of them, but they have applications that are both based on Linux and on Windows, and so they want to be able to develop and de deliver those new capabilities with containers for both applications, and us coming together really helps them do that. Microsoft and Red Hat together have the largest footprint of installed infrastructure technologies in terms of the Windows-based infrastructures and the Red Hat Enterprise Linux-based infrastructures. And if you layer in the developer bases, both the Microsoft.NET bases as well as the Red Hat Enterprise Linux, the JBoss developer bases, and now the container developers, it's an incredibly wide base of infrastructure technologies deployed already and developers developing applications. Kubernetes has clearly emerged as a, you know, the most commonly used orchestrator for containers because the industry started a couple years ago, how do we do with one container, and very quickly you want to distribute it out, especially in the cloud. You want to have multiple containers spanning, uh, you know, a lot of different machines, networking together, all those sort of things, and Kubernetes is, um, and the other projects that are kind of coming along in the CNCF are, uh, kind of on the forefront of that. So certainly Red Hat started uh, in, in working with communities to develop enterprise products. And, and we started this with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Uh, and, and through this partnership and, and working now with the Kubernetes community, being able to productize Kubernetes uh, in addition to other technologies and make it a full, fully enterprise supported container application platform uh, integrated with Azure and integrated with Microsoft technologies like SQL Server running containers on it, et cetera, you know, we end up with a, a fully supported integrated support environment that takes the best of the open source communities uh, and provides that to enterprises in a way that they can consume it and run their enterprise environments on. Containers is just a new way to distribute software and so we're bringing the benefits of containers uh, to both .NET 2.0 customers and to uh, SQL customers. And then also, interestingly, you know, one of the big aspects of containers is portability. We're actually talking about portability now between Windows and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which really gives uh, customers a lot more options about how they want to configure, how they want to run their um, infrastructure, and um, what their application platforms look like. We're both companies that believe in hybrid. We think that's where the customer will be in the long term, that they'll have some assets in their on-premise environment and some of that running in the cloud as well. And their developers span across multiple languages. We have .NET with our new .NET Core 2.0 just announced and a massive number of Java developers. And so there's millions and millions of developers that are using these technologies that they can adopt, they can run in the location that makes the most sense for them, they have choice, and they can deliver great value for their companies. So as part of this announcement, uh, we're, we're now able to allow customers to run and get full support for Windows containers inside OpenShift, which is now the first Kubernetes pro product in the market to be able to fully support Windows and Red Hat Enterprise Linux containers. Now that we're expanding the relationship to include uh, Azure Stack, so Red Hat Enterprise Linux supported on Azure Stack as it's released to the market, that really cr creates a platform where customers can understand that regardless of whether they're running their Red Hat technologies, whether it's on-premise or off-premise at Azure proper, they're able to actually have a supported, integrated supported environment between Red Hat and Microsoft. And to now have solutions that the developer can write for on-premise usage, for spanning to the cloud, and for everything in between, this is one of the most compelling uh, aspects, I think, of the partnership, is how wide of a swath in the market that it covers. It's been great to see the response from our customers on our integrated support solution. Uh, this is a unique thing that we have in the industry where Microsoft and Red Hat engineers are working together to provide the support to our customers. Their feedback has been very, very positive about that. They can come to us and get the questions answered on both Microsoft's products in Azure as well as Red Hat's products.